Hey guys, quick video today about Singapore and its nearest and dearest neighbor, Malaysia. Well, it's Chinese New Year, many Singaporeans have connections in Malaysia and I'm one of them and I am having to think about my journey, how I'm going to do the checkpoints. For those of you who don't know, there are two checkpoints in Malaysia, one over here on the... Um, west side called Tuas and one over here called Woodlands and on Saturday the Chinese New Year Saturday it's I saw on the Straits Times says about 500,000 people are going to cross but as someone who's about to cross which one do you go to I mean there doesn't seem to be for Singapore is usually quite organized there's this total disorganization here and who's responsible immigration and checkpoints authority you can always tell a total fail zone when they have to take their website down for eight hours at a time. But anyway, down here is the traffic monitor, which takes you to another fail zone. Um, this horrible, horrible website full of... So here... Uh, traffic cameras, yes. I want to look at the traffic cameras, please. So, Woodens and Tours Checkpoint. Um... I don't know how to read this, so this is why I'm making a video. I wish they would publish, say, like, the, the throughput rate or something, but it's quite complicated because some people with passes go quickly, some people who have foreigner passports go, go slowly. I'm traveling with my mum and dad who are British, and they don't have, you know, the dependent pass or what have you, and they can't go through the... Um, the turnstiles very quickly, they have to queue in a very long queue, and God knows, I mean, how long is that going to take? No idea. Um, you know, every time it's really, really busy or something, they give no excuse, no explanation, really awful service in my opinion. They really should be held to some account, to some metric, um, and yeah, the only thing they publish here is this thing. So, second link to, to us, okay, so can I say that there's a big a big queue to come into Singapore and there's not so much going out to Johor I mean is that is that how am I reading it and there's an uh, oh, sorry here's, here's the other one a big queue coming in no way I mean this doesn't make sense this is to us and this is to us so there's a queue coming in to Tuas, but here there's a big queue coming into Johor. Why isn't it here? I guess this is maybe the initial. Um, this is the initial queue. The, 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 this is the initial backlog into Tuas, and this is what's sort of like coming through. Uh, as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of motorcycles there and um, not many motorcycles it's you know you know what I'm saying here it's like how do you read this does it do people read look at this and go oh I know I know woodlands is somehow better I mean looking at this um, I think going to Johor going to the causeways looks pretty crowded but at the same time going into Singapore looks really crowded I mean, I could probably give some flack to the Malaysian immigration, um, but in my experience, they're they're actually faster than Singapore. Seriously, so this is this is the bottleneck for me. So this is what I, I I sit here sort of trying to work out, trying to make sense of. So if anyone have any tips, travel travel tips for car vehicle crossings for Chinese Year, please tell me. Please help me. Thank you for watching.